Invercargill City Centre will go from 1954 to 2054 in just five years. At least that's what HWCP company director Scott O'Donnell hopes for the city. Preliminary plans revealed last night show a complete overhaul for the block stretching from D Street to Kelvin Street between Esk and Tay Streets, of which HWCP now owns all but three buildings. The three things we don't own actually add value anyway. The ILT Hotel, Picture Theatre, Troopers, and they stay and add value. And then hopefully we've got a complete greenfield site start again. And that's just a wonderful situation to get it right. We've got a chance to make history for the future. The plans showed an idea of what the block may look like, which included an office precinct attached to the Troopers Memorial Building, a new medical centre, a shopping centre, food court, a large anchor retailer and a new HWR building in place of the Government Life Building. O'Donnell says the plans add a modern, big city feel to Invercargill. I'm quite a follower of big cities. I like London, I like New York. I don't want to live there, but I actually want to bring some of those elements into our nice wee town. This is a great place to live, but it hasn't got a heart. We're adding the heart to make it special. With the first of the demolitions planned for later this year, O'Donnell says retailers would have to be moved from the block, and that container-style retail or a pop-up mall concept could be options for businesses. HWCP hopes to demolish two heritage buildings in the block, the Government Life Building and the former South and Times Building. O'Donnell said the company has a fight on its hands, but that the buildings were in a bad state, which would be costly and time-consuming to repair. Presently there's no demand for those buildings. They're in a bad state of repair and nobody can afford to repair them given the present economic activity. We hope to fix that and create a future for both new and for old. Bachelor McDougall Consulting Director Graham McDougall showed the extent of the damage to the buildings and said the government life building in particular was beyond repair. The building structure is, is just not up to it and, and it's incredibly difficult to fix that structure uh, because it's been so, uh, well you saw the photos, you could see inside all the concrete spalling and so on, it's, it's, it's past its use by date. The company consulted with the present tenant base about the plans last night and from next week consultations with nationwide businesses will begin in order to fill spaces in the precinct. The time frame offered by the company shows the first buildings could be occupied as early as 2021. Sharon Rees, The South Today.